hello and uh, welcome to the uh, session with team inferno team inferno dtu is a student based technical team which specializes in development of mars rover prototypes here in today's session they will uh, share their experience uh, on building their latest prototype novas uh, rajdeep uh, uh, we welcome rajdeep to start the presentation Uh, thank you so much. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yeah, very, uh, very warm. I'm Rajdeep Singh from Team Inferno D2. So, Team Inferno D2 is a 28-member strong team. Uh, we are basically on the verge of making a mass rover prototype. So, we can uh, basically include robotics and automation. We focus on the design and development of the mass rover prototypes. we participate in prestigious national and international competitions such as international rover challenge university rover challenge european rover challenge etc expanding our domain further we aim to design autonomous uavs yep that are unmanned aerial vehicles we are in the verge of making a drone which will be capable of exploring the nearby space around the marsia uh, the international planetary aerial system that is ipsc 2021 for the first time we secured the 6th rank globally out of 27 national teams and international teams we have also qualified for the final round of the university rover challenge that is to be held in ota usa in june 2022 uh, our other indian design challenge 2022 also we backed sixth position in the indian mars hackathon 2020 the departments on which we work on are basically mechanical electrical software research and corporate these are the basic and the core branches for the team in front here is the picture of a latest design prototype that is novus you can see the four wheels that are self designed and self made in dtu inferno lab uh, you can see the multiple bytes coming out of a box that is our electrical and embedded systems box so now further we move on to the basics of embedded system over to you hello good evening to all of you i am nikhil the i am now i'm currently handling the electronics and electrical part of team inferno dtu so let us start start with the embedded system of rover uh, the embedded systems uh, the word embedded system itself means uh, a network of peripheral devices which can connect a, a, a input device and a microcontroller or a microprocessor to a output device which can uh, through which can we can program uh, and uh, give uh, our, our input to a, uh, a give an input to a device uh, isse kya hoga अगर हम हम अब कुछ भी आ, अपना टाइप परफॉर्म करवाना चाहते हैं किसी भी डिवाइस के थ्रू तो हम एक पूरा सेटअप बनाते हैं जिसमें हम एक कुछ इनपुट डिवाइस रखते हैं जिसको पेरिफेरल डिवाइस तो में हम काउंट करते हैं और उसके माइक्रो और माइक्रो प्रोसेसर और माइक्रो कंट्रोल के थ्रू उसको कंट्रोल करते हैं देन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड उसकी वर्किंग पर जाएँ तो एक इम्बेटेड सिस्टम मोस्टली दो सिस्टम को पूरा दो सिस्टम इंक्लूड होते हैं एक इम्बेटेड सिस्टम में जिसमें फर्स्ट सिस्टम आता है यूजर इंटरफेस एंड सेकेंड है सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इन यूजर इंटरफेस की बात करें यूजर इंटरफेस में हम इनपुट देंगे इनपुट हम किसी भी स्विच की के थ्रू दे सकते हैं फिंगरप्रिंट के थ्रू दे सकते हैं अगर रोवर की बात करें तो रोवर में हम किसी और चीज़ के थ्रू लाइक मोटर ड्राइवर और मोटर के थ्रू हम इनपुट दे सकते हैं वो हमारे इनपुट पेरीफेरल डिवाइस में काउंट हो जाते हैं एंड देन सेकेंड पार्ट में हमारा इमेडेड कंप्यूटर सिस्टम जिसमें माइक्रो कंट्रोल लाइक आरडीनो नो आरडीनो मेगा कंसिस्ट होते हैं और हार्डवेयर सिस्टम जो आउटपुट हमारे जनरेट करेंगे लाइक like, अगर हमें एक कोई भी डिजायर आउटपुट अपनी मोटर से जनरेट करवाना है लाइक like, हमें किसी एंगल पे उसे रोटेट करना है देन हम उसे सॉफ्टवेयर uh, के थ्रू प्रोग्राम करके कर सकते हैं दिस इज द वर्किंग ऑफ इम्बेडेड सिस्टम लाइक अब इम्बेडेड सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू मेजर कंपोनेंट्स हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर हार्डवेयर कंसिस्ट ऑफ पावर सप्लाई माइक्रो कंट्रोलर मेमोरी टाइम काउंटर कम्युनिकेशन एंड इनपुट आउटपुट इनपुट आउटपुट एज आई told you uh, input can be a keyboard and output can be a motor or a light or something anything you want to program and we can program it through a microcontroller 
and for a software we have editor compiler assembler emulator linker and debugger for a software system we have for a desired output so now moving uh, towards the applications of embedded system we have like we can use in a several uh, ways like robotic assembly line and wireless communication defense aerospace and image processing now we are using in this uh, robotic as uh, assembly like we have a rover uh uh hamare uh, rover mein uh, embedded system ki applications ke bare mein discuss kiya jaye so hamare pas uh, we have so many tasks that we have to perform hame uh, apne desired output chahiye hote hain so hum kya karenge embedded system ke through hamare pas motor drivers hain hamare pas microcontroller hai microcontrollers kafi sare types ke ho sakte hain currently we are using arduino uno and arduino mega hum us ko motor uh, हम से कनेक्ट करते हैं थ्रू मोटर्स एंड थ्रू मोटर्स हम मोटर्स अभी कनेक्ट आइटोनियो माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड देन वी कनेक्ट इट थ्रू अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर कॉल एन वी जैक्सन विच इज अवर सी पी मेन सी देन हम प्रोग्राम करके आडिनो को यूजिंग आडिनो आई अपने वेरियस मोटर्स को आम के मोटर्स को अपने जी पी मॉड्यूल को आई एम यू को एंड कैम आई एम यू को प्रोग्राम करते हैं और वेरियस साइंस सेंसर्स को भी प्रोग्राम करते हैं एंड देन उनका आउटपुट लेके उसे एक डेट जनरेट करते हैं देन मूविंग टूवर्ड द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वी बेसिक्स ऑफ आर्डिनो लाइक वी आर यूजिंग आर्डिनो एज एन अवर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर्डिनो इज नथिंग बट एन आई सी प्रोग्रामेबल आई सी यू आर फैमिलियर विद द ग्रीन एंड ब्लू चिप्स यू कैन सी बट दीज आर कॉल्ड आई सी इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट आर्डिनो इज नथिंग बट अ प्रोग्रामेबल आई सी आई सी जैसे आई सी किसी भी एक डिजाइड आउटपुट अगर हमें चाहिए और हमें उसे प्रोग्राम करना है तो हम आर्डिनो माइक्रो प्रोग्रामेबल है जैसे आर्डिनो आई डी के थ्रू प्रोग्राम करके एक डिजाइड आउटपुट जनरेट करेंगे अगर जो आई सीज होती है बेसिकली किसी एक ही एसकाई टाइप की आई एक ही आउटपुट को जनरेट कर लेंगे पहले से ही प्री प्रोग्राम होती हैं आर्डिनो ऊनो आर्डिनो मेगा आर्डिनो नैनो देर आर सो मैनी आई सीज इन मार्केट अवेलेबल सो देट वी कैन प्रोग्राम और आई सी एंड बहुत सो मैनी अदर टास्क लाइक like, आपको आप चाहे लाइट को कंट्रोल करना चाहते हैं चाहे मोटर्स को कंट्रोल करना चाहते हैं सेंसर्स को प्रोग्राम करना चाहते हैं सी वी हैव सो मेनी टास्क टू डू सो दैट्स व्हाई वी वर प्रोग्रामेबल आई सी नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड द वर्किंग ऑफ आर्डी नो हाउ कैन वी प्रोग्राम इट और हाउ कैन वी कंट्रोल इट एंड हाउ कैन वी जनरेट अ डिजायर आउटपुट सो वी हैव आर्डी नो विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिजिटल मीन्स एज यू कैन सी इन द स्लाइड अप इन दर वी हैव डिजिटल मीन्स वी हैव and we have analog pins as well we have a microcontroller and uh, we have a vcc and a ground theek hai us hum apne laptop ke through arduino id it's a software it's a free software uh, then usko hum apne 5 uh, volt ke output laptop ke through bhi de sakte hain aur agar hum dc aapke paas adapter hai aap uske through bhi de sakte hain aur usko apni arduino se connect karke aap apne uh, jo bhi input uh, jisme bhi aap input apna lena chahte hain like for example uh, hum light ko blink karana chahte hain इन द स्पेस ऑफ फाइव सेकेंड हम बार बार से ब्लिंक करना चाहते हैं देन आप आर्डिनो आई डी का यूज करके आप उसे प्रोग्राम कर सकते हैं प्रोग्रामिंग के लिए बेसिकली आप सी लैंग्वेज का यूज करेंगे सी लैंग्वेज यूज करके आप उसे प्रोग्राम करेंगे बिल्कुल बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग है आपको आर्डिनो आई डी में सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स यू कैन गेट टू ब्लिंक एंड लाइट सर्वो मोटर्स को कोड करने के लिए और सेंसर्स को कोड करने के लिए डिजिटल प्रिंस आप जिस तरीके का आपका रिक्वायर्ड आउटपुट होगा इनपुट होगा उसे कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं एनालॉग भी कनेक्ट हो जाएंगे और इसमें डिजिटल पिन के साथ पी डब्ल्यू एंड पिन का सपोर्ट होता है सिविल कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स का सपोर्ट होता है लाइक आई इंटर इंटीग्रेटेड कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल यू हार्ट सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट एंड इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द एम्बेड सिस्टम ऑफ रोवर फर्दर वी हैव हाउ वी कनेक्ट द रॉस विद आर डिनो एंड प्रयास विल गाइड यू हाउ वी कनेक्टेड Hi everyone. I am Priyansh uh, from the uh, software department of Inferno. Uh, so ROS stands for Robot Operating System. It is a meta operating system that provides all the basic tools for a robotic uh, system to work. So the communication between the computing unit and uh, Arduino is established with the help of a ROS node called ROS serial node. This node works on many to many publisher subscriber methodol methodology. and uh, peer to peer faster service methodology i'll show you a small tutorial on how to use ros with arduino this tutorial uses 
publisher subscriber paradigm to communicate between the Arduino board and ROS running on my, uh, on the system. So, uh, Rajiv, you can stop sharing your screen for a bit and let me share my screen, please. Rajiv, is my screen visible? Yeah, it is visible. So I have an Arduino Mega connected to my computer right now. Uh, and this is a code for uh, four wheel drive system that we use in our rover. So for. Now I will. I will open a terminal. And. Uh, uh, for launching a ROS node, uh, any node, we have to run our master node before. So uh, this master node is called uh, ROS code and uh, ROS. Uh, the master node is live. Now uh, for uh, for uh, uh, communicating with ROS uh, on this Arduino, we have to run our uh, ROS node called ROS serial node. So, so uh, the ROS node, uh, ROS serial node is live. Uh, the, this ROS serial node, uh, node package uses Arduino universal asynchronous receiver transmitter communication. Uh, and converts the board to a ROS node that can publish uh, ROS messages and subscribe to a ROS message as well. The Arduino ROS node publisher can send data from the board to a machine running on the ROS, while Arduino node subscriber can get instruction from the machine. So if we are seeing the code, uh, first we have to uh, include a ROS library called ROS.h and then we have uh, here a uh, function of uh, uh, ROS.h that is uh, ROS handle, uh, node handle. This initializes the node and uh, then we can go to the void setup of the Arduino and see first we have to initialize the node, then we can subscribe whatever we have to subscribe. So in the ROS subscriber, this is the data type of whatever we are subscribing and and this is the message that we are subscribing this is the name of the message we are subscribing uh, then uh, we are passing this uh, message to the this function message of cb and uh, this here is the function then we can uh, decode the message whatever we are uh, getting from the message so taking first checking this node if this node is active on uh, the raw serial node we can type ross node list and see uh, a serial node is uh, live right now now if i'm uh, running the uh, raw serial so a uh, uh, subscriber has to be established and that should be uh, subscribing to the this message cmd well now we can check that as well so here is the cmd well and we can uh, check right now what message um, what uh, message we are subscribing to by typing ross topic echo Right now we are not uh, passing any uh, values to same level, so it will not show anything. And uh, this is this is just an example of subscriber. Our uh, rover wheels are equipped with motor drivers that can provide feedback to the motors. Suppose we need uh, to see that information, we'll need a publisher as well. So here's another code. 
it works yeah. for uh, encoders and it creates a publisher as well uh, here's a publisher uh, named feedback and it is uh, passing the uh, data to the string message the string message is a array and if i upload this code right now it's busy i guess it will show an error we have to cancel this now if i upload Now it's uploaded and we can now run the raw serial node. Now, if we can, if we see the raw topic list, we have two topics CMD well and here feedback. So uh, whatever we are receiving from the motors, we can see in this feedback. This is just a small example of how uh, raw serial works. And now Palak can show you how, uh, what we do in uh, image processing. Hello everyone. Am I audible? Um, yes, you are. Yes, Palak. Hello everyone. I am Palak Chaturvedi. I, I will be telling you about image processing. First, let me tell you what is an image. An image is represented by its dimension. Its height and weight are given based on the number of pixels. For example, if an image if, if the dimension of image are 500 into 400, the total number of pixels in the image will be 20, uh, 2 lakhs. Image, uh, why do we not need image processing? Image processing requires fixed sequence of operations that are performed at each pixel of an image. The image processor performs a first sequence of operation on the image pixel by pixel. Once this is fully done, it will perform the second operation and so on. The output value of these operations can be computed at any pixel of the image. The, de the definition of image processing is that image processing is the process of transforming an image into a digital form and performing certain operations to get some useful information from it. The image processing usually treats all the images as 2D signals when applying certain predetermined signal processing methods. Uh, what are the types of image processing? Like we applied image processing in visualization, finding objects that are not visible in the image. Second, in recognition, like distinguishing or detecting objects in the image, like in object recognition, which we use so many times in traffic light detection and in many other things. And sharpening and restoration, Creating an enhanced image from the original original image, like a picture of low resolution is given, and we can sharpen the image using image processing. Second, pattern recognition. Uh, me measure the va measure the various patterns around the objects in the image. Third, uh, last one is retrieval, browsing and searching images from large database of digital images that are similar to original image. Now let me tell you about what are the ways of processing of image processing. Uh, these are using net neural network like CRN layers are created to en enhance images like the images shown here using machine learning algorithm. Uh, we create we take data and train the train data to create a to create a model and then use that algorithm to uh, to create uh, diff to create our model which will be used on different images second one is using open cv uh, there are some inbuilt packages in open open cv uh, which can which can be used to enhance images like creating uh, different type of images like grayscale images flipping image uh, doing flipping the images or resizing the pixels of the images a uh, third one is creating class probability map for object detection like it is shown in the picture 
uh, this image is divided into different grids and in each grid uh, object is seen and it, it is tracked what object could it be and all those probabilities are uh, calculated to uh, to clear the final detection next slide please uh, in our rover we use ar tags ar tags are a major part in in our uh, rover traversal ar tags are the are the short form ar tags are short form for argumented reality tags mm -hmm. uh, these are used in in various areas like these are used in in games and animation to uh, to describe real world like uh, by, while uh, driving an uav or driving a rover we track those ar tags or aruco tags to describe to describe the location where it will where it is present and then we perform our task according to it uh, ar tags can be used to facilitate the appearance of visual objects games and animation within the real world they allow video tracking capabilities that calculate a camera's position and orientation relative to physical markers in real time. Uh, for, the for the detection of these tags, we have AR Track Alpha package, which is a ROS package. The main function of it is to generate AR tag of various, various size and data. ID encoding and detecting one or bundle of AR tags. OpenCV can be used to track the distance and their orientation. This can facilitate autonomous traversal of UAVs, rovers, and arm. Next slide, please. Uh, like this is uh, this is done using AR, AR AR Track Alva package. These are the three images of AR tag, and our uh, camera is there on this rover. And it detects the AR tag, and these red, blue, and green color are those AR tags which is which are placed in that environment. And next, we will be learning about arrow detection using YOLO. A YOLO is an algorithm that uses neural networks to provide real-time object detection. This algorithm is popular because of its speed and accuracy. It has been used in various applications to detect traffic lights, people, parking meters, and animals. Uh, YOLO is an abbreviation of the term you only look once. This is an algorithm that detects and recognizes various objects in a picture in a real in a real time picture. Object detection in YOLO is done as regression problem and provides the class probabilities of the detected image. As in this picture, it is shown it is uh, this arrows are detected on a traffic below a traffic light using YOLO. Now we will be learning about rock detection using deep learning. Uh, a, it, a type of machine learning based on artificial neural networks in which multiple layers of processing are used to extract progressively higher level features from data. Like an image is given, uh, we produce a convolution layer of six by six kernel, and then using pooling, we finally produce a probability heat map to detect the rocks in this image in this picture. Now I will be presenting a video on rock detection and how we are mm -hmm. detecting them by creating different type of images like grayscale gray imaging, threshold images, and creating a kernel map to detect all the rocks. Next slide, please. Press a video slide. This is a video of rock detection, like multiple images were shown, and finally these rocks are detected uh, using deep learning. Thank you. Uh, now for conclusion and future scope, the scope of an embedded system is widely increasing day to, in day-to-day -day life. Present the embedded system found the huge found the huge application in telecommunication, defense instrumentations, rail, railroad networks, consumer electronics, electronic payments, and smart card industry, etc. Nowadays, the usage of electronic device increasingly is increasing rapidly, 
and can you imagine that the human person without a smartphone or computing device embedded system plays a main, major role in this in these applications uh, thank you any any questions all the questions are welcome if if you have any questions about image processing ros or anything Can you share more about how the robotic arms work? Yeah, uh, so our robotic arm is a six D O F robotic arm. Uh, it uh, performs uh, uh, linear motion in X Y Z uh, positions, and it can also work in uh, uh, rotatory motions uh, like in uh, roll, yaw, and pitch. It has a gripper. Uh, which can uh, pick objects of uh, uh, less than five kilo, uh, kilograms, and uh, we control. Uh, currently, we are controlling our robotic arm through forward kinematics, and we are aiming towards the inverse kinematics of uh, controlling the robotic arm. And uh, uh, electrically speaking, uh, uh, there are seven motors in our robotic arm. Out of uh, these seven, two are the actuators, linear actuators, and they are all connected with uh, individual motor drivers. And then they are connect. Kind of, uh, they have power supply of twelve volts. Uh, do you use a camera also uh, before to check the position of the gripper? Yes, we have. We are using three webcams. Uh, placed on the arm and we are also using connect for depth sensing of where the uh, it gives more accurate position of where the gripper is and uh, we have placed a camera on the grip on the gripper to display to take the images of aruko tags or any like perform, for performing task like pressing keyboard buttons or flipping switches there is a camera on gripper and many other position to help in the tasks and for the uh, for the software part of the arm uh, we are using move it and we are driving a, we are moving our arm using an xbox controller also and uh, for the autonomous movement of our arm we are using move it and inverse kinematics Uh, if anyone has any queries, feel free to switch on your mic and ask them. Guys, if you have any doubts, you can ask. Uh, anything about the electrical system of rover, electrical system of our arm, how uh, the arm works, how the linear motion works, what type of motors that we use, anything, any doubt you want to ask.
hello in how many competitions you have participated Oh, okay. so uh, currently uh, we are the uh, we are the finalist of university road challenge uh, which uh, is in uh, usa and we are the finalist and also we are the finalist of uh, in, uh, international road challenge uh, which is in uh, Chen uh, chennai uh, we also participate in european road challenge we are currently on its second round and uh, we uh, we participate in the two uh, two european challenges on site and also in the Offsite competition, and we are also planning for go for Canadian Rover Challenge. These are the oh, these all are the uh, most widely uh, famous Rover Challenge all around the world. But it's been almost in all of them. Yeah, it really sound good. And yeah, what are the future scope you are yeah, saying with yeah. your project? Uh, future scope of what? Like uh, you are showing with the project. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mean future yeah. scope of rover itself, the whole uh, rover, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, now, as you can see, uh, that uh, electronics and uh, uh, the engineering all is all about the space exploration and sabhi usi taraf ja rahe and move. Until the up to any country, me. मेनली क्या रहता है कि किसी भी स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन के लिए एक मेन एजेंसी होती है लाइक वी हैव इसरो और किसी किसी कंट्रीज के पास अगर उनके पास इतने रिसोर्सेज हैं देन ही वो कर सकते हैं अगर आप खुद ही अगर हम सोचें कि सिर्फ एक ही ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जो कि एक ही कुछ ही कंट्रीज में है किसी किसी कंट्रीज के पास अपने स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नहीं होती है अगर एक ही इंसान ट्राई करता रहे उस चीज़ को करने का तो वट आर द चांसेज टू सक्सीड जब बहुत सारे लोग एक साथ कंपटीशन में आएंगे देन वी हैव न्यू आइडियाज देन वी हैव न्यू थिंग्स टू बिल्ड दिस आर द मेन मतलब लाइक हम कह सकते हैं कि चीज़ें हैं माइनिंग ऑपरेशन हो सकते हैं इसके अलावा अगर स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन के अलावा भी चीज़ें हो सकती हैं मिलिट्री ऑपरेशन भी हो सकते हैं एंड केव ऑपरेशन केव रोवर्स भी बिल्ड कर सकते हैं तो देर आर सो मैनी चीज लाइक मिलिट्री ऑपरेशन में हम बॉम्ब डिटेक्शन बॉम्ब डिफ्यूजन भी यूज कर सकते हैं स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन के अलावा भी डोवर के बहुत सारे यूजेस हो सकते हैं थैंक यू अगर आईटी बीच से अगर कोई पार्ट लेना चाहता है आपके इस में तो कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज वैसे हेलो लाइक like, uh, अभी तो डी uh, की जो इनफर्नो डी टी टीम है मार्स रोवर की उसमें सिर्फ डी टी के मेंबर डी टी के स्टूडेंट्स हैं वही टीम मेंबर्स हम कंसिस्ट करते हैं इंटर यूनिवर्सिटी भी uh, टीम बन सकती है अगर uh, उसकी यूनिवर्सिटी uh, को और सेल्फ कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो प्लान uh, हम फर्दर ईयर्स में अगर अपना एक एक्सपैंड uh, टीम करेंगे तो वी विल गो फॉर द अदर यूनिवर्सिटी एज वेल बट करेंटली डी टी इनफर्नो डी टी वो सिर्फ डी के लिए है अगर कि हमारे पास भी एक रोबोटिक्स क्लब टीम है तो कुछ कोलैब करके अचीव सम डिफरेंट या वी कैन ऑन एनीथिंग ओके थैंक यू आई विल रोबोटिक्स what type of motors do you use in the wheels uh for the wheels you we use dc motors with uh, uh which has very high torque like its torque is 32 newton meters and um, and it consists uh, it is a 24 volt motor which has 30 ampere uh, current rate and for the very uh, it's very high torque motor basically dc motor name of the motor is uh, rhino motor yes did you say rhino motor yes 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 okay thank you thank you
थैंक यू एवरीवन हैज एनी फाइनल क्वेरीज लेफ्ट और वी एंड द सेशन can you summarize its main functionality what does it uh, is beneficial for uh, so in uh, we are exploring mars right now and uh, we haven't been able to uh, place some astronauts or any human life on the mars so for exploring uh, uh, mars uh, there's a communication gap between so we can't control any uh, uh, rover on the mars from the earth uh, so if there is communication gap we have to make it autonomous so for autonomous uh, every test every science test has to be done autonomous autonomic autonomously and uh, every movement of the rover should be autonomous it has to be it has uh, to be moving everywhere by itself the control of the arm should be autonomous the drive has to be autonomous so we are trying to do that from science assembly to the movement of the rover everything should be autonomous anyone else uh hello i have a question uh, how do you ensure that the mass dust which is so so uh, problematic doesn't get into it uh basically it's a prototype that we are testing on the uh, earth conditions so like we have competitions in chennai and usa and canada they make a mars yard according to the surface of mars but they cannot create the environment like mars uh, the flow of the wind and the terrain of the mars so right now we don't have such conditions for testing the mars rover uh does anyone has any more queries yeah so you can basically uh, send me uh, text me or we will send your queries to dtu in the future also uh, we thank team dtu in for no dtu for uh, this session and sharing their knowledge about uh, how to build a rover uh, and uh, bellet systems with us that's all for today uh do you uh in for no detail do you want to say something yeah thank you so much for inviting us for this uh, wonderful webinar we would like to thank udyam 22 team Uh, have more events like this in the future thank you bye everyone